welcome to lab 10 of backup and recovery using console and backup api this lab walks you through getting started with backup and recovery in exadata cloud service database using console and backup apis exadata cloud service supports backing up databases on an exadata db system to an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage and Local Disk, which is known as Fast Recovery Area. This lab consists of two sections. The first section deals with performing backup using console, and the second section deals with performing backup and recovery using backup APIs. Now, let me walk you through section one of this laboratory of performing backups and recovery using console the required artifacts for this laboratory is an oracle cloud service infrastructure account with a pre-provisioned exadata cloud service infrastructure and database and the required prerequisites is a service gateway should be configured for taking backups and putting it in the object storage bucket. Step 1 Backup and Recovery using Console. You can use Console to enable automatic incremental backups, create full backups on demand, and view a list of managed backups for a database. The console also allows to delete full backup. To configure automatic backups through console, go to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure homepage, click on Hamburger menu, click Bare Metal VM and Exadata, choose the compartment required, a list of DB systems is displayed. Click on DB system where the database is located. General information about DB system is displayed. A list of databases and a DB system is displayed. Click on database you want to enable or disable automatic backups. Click configure automatic backups as shown. A pop up will be seen on the screen. In that, check enable automatic backups you can change the backup retention period from 7 days to 60 days and you can also pick up a time for scheduling backups after performing necessary changes click on save changes you can view backups from backup resources in db page using console you can also create an on demand full backup of a database. Click Backups and then click on Create Backup. This will show a pop up. In that, select the database for which you want to perform backup and click on Create Backup. This will initiate the backup. Using Control, the recovery of database can also be performed. For that, the navigation is go to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure homepage, click on Hamburger menu, click Bare Metal, VM and Exadata, choose Compartment, click on DB System and select the database for which you want to perform the recovery. In the Database Details page, click on the Restore button. Select the database for which you want to perform the database recovery. A pop up will be displayed in that you can choose Restore to Latest. This will restore the database to last known good state. Restore to the timestamp. This will restore the database to the timestamp specified. Restore to System Change Number. This will restore the database to the SCN you specify. Once you select the required changes, Click on Confirm and the DB status will change from Available to Updating. Once Restore is complete, 
the database will be available for usage. This completes section 1 of this laboratory. Now, let me walk you through section 2 of this laboratory. You can use Exadata Backups Utility Backup API to backup databases on Exadata DB system to an existing bucket in Oracle Cloud Object Storage Service and to local disk fast recovery area. For this, the only prerequisite is you have to configure static route for accessing an object storage and ensure that you configure a static route for the backup subnet on each compute node in Exadata DB system. To install backup configuration and schedule backup using Backup API, the steps are you have to first SSH into compute node in the Exadata DB system. For that, we will be using Bastion host. Create a backup configuration file as root user. The content of backup configuration file should be as shown. Backup disk is equal to yes. Creates backup in the disk. Backup OSS is equal to S. Create a backup in the selected or configured object storage bucket. Backup OSS URL specifies the URL of the object storage bucket required. Backup OSS user and backup OSS password will provide authentication for user to access the object storage bucket. After performing the required changes in the file, save the configuration file, change the permissions of the configuration file, and initiate the backup using the backup configuration file by specifying the DB name. Using backup API utility, you can also create on demand full backups of the database. Performing on demand full backup of the database, the command used is as shown. Once the backup is initiated, you can check the status of the backup by issuing the command shown. You can also perform recovery of your database using backup APIs. For performing recovery, give the command as shown. It will list the options available for performing recovery in the Exadata DB system for which you can select SEN. It restores your database to the SEN you specify. If you choose latest, it will restore your database to the latest backup and you can also choose point in time recovery. Perform recovery by executing the command shown. Once the recovery is in progress, you can check the status of recovery from the log files. Once the recovery is completed, database will be available. This completes lab 10 of performing backup and recovery using console and backup APIs.